In this video, I'll show you the new Altia 3D Scene object. 3D Scene object allows you to display animated 3D content within Altia Design, so you can integrate 3D content as part of your GUIs. Starting here in Maya, I'll just make a basic scene so that we can have some content to show. There are a few things you want to configure in Maya so that the viewport looks the same as the real-time preview in LT Design. First thing is turn on smooth shading, textures, use all lights, and then toggle the viewport until you see it say viewport 2.0. Many of these options can be found right in the drop-down menus as well, but I like to use the shortcut icons. All right. Now if we add just a couple basic objects to our model here. I'll start with uh, a little torus donut shape and then maybe a cylinder and a sphere. You can see that everything is pitch black. The reason is we told the lighting to use all lights but we don't have any lights. So if I click spotlight and then move it away from the objects, viewport 2.0 will start real time showing us the effects of this light. So once I start rotating it into view and adjust the cone angle, we now have all three of our objects illuminated by just a very simple light source. Now I could change the color and intensity of this light, but I'm going to move on for the sake of this short, simple demo. I want to talk now about surfacing for real time OpenGL rendering. Um, OSG is the rendering engine that LTO will be using and OSG's default shading method is Fong. So you want to select Fong for your materials in Maya or 3D Studio Max. This is instead of Lambert or Blend or things like that, different shading algorithms. Fong is the type you want to use for LTO. So I'll select a Fong material and just choose a color, maybe red, and um, maybe I want to make this real shiny so I increase the specular color and adjust this cosine power to be a very tight hot surface and then maybe to look, make it look more like a pool ball kind of glassy drop the diffuse a bit. So that's looking pretty good for my red sphere. Let's make this torus a little bit uh, uh, velvety or more plastic matte looking. Uh, once again click new fong material, come over here, select a color. Um, but this time instead of uh, decreasing diffuse, I'll increase diffuse, lower the cosine power to give that that shine somewhat less glossy appearance and then reduce the specular color. So basically it's going to highlight itself in blue. So this looks a little bit plasticky and sort of matte whereas this is high gloss. All right, You can watch a lot of YouTube videos online for Maya or 3D Studio Max about basic Fong surfacing attributes. For the sake of this quick demo I'll just continue once more by making a green surface and I think I'll make that another glossy one. So very low diffuse, high cosine power, and a very hot highlight. So we've got a highlight here, highlight here, and a very sort of matte or low gloss object here. We can make that even just a little bit more low gloss for you so that it does have quite a difference in appearance from the other objects. All right, that looks pretty good. Now we have a scene and uh, we've got a light here, but nothing's animating. So what I'm going to do is select the light and press S. That creates a keyframe right here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and rotate the light with the rotate tool. And I can just turn the light over here so that you can see it moved away from the objects. And that's the type of animation I want to create. So it'll start by pointing at the objects, then I'll give it 10 frames and move over here and press key, uh, S for another keyframe and then give it another 10 frames maybe and move back to showing the objects and press S. So very simple animation, move away, move back Okay, with the light. Now let's just add one more simple animation for our quick demo before we export to Altia Design. I'm just going to take this sphere and create a starting frame here and then at frame 10 maybe shrink it down a little bit so it's squished create a keyframe and then at frame 20 maybe uh, let's move it to the left a little bit and rotate it to the side just something like that. These animations don't have to be complicated I just want to show that what you do in Maya can easily convert over to Altia. So we've got a very very basic scene here uh, what I want to do now is actually come up to file export all and choose DAE FBX export Alright, so what this does is we have 
a Collada output directly from Maya. So I'll call this just Maya1.dae, and I've already got a file called that. So yep, I'll replace it and click export. So it's now on the hard drive, and now we're going to switch over to LT Design. Here in LT Design, we just have one object. You could have plenty of other objects around your model, um, but for the sake of this demo, I just want to keep things simple. So I have one 3D scene object. To enter the 3D scene uh, pane itself, you want to right-click the object and click Compose. Now, there's an open button right here. Already we have a default scene loaded right, right here, but what we want to do is open Maya 1 that we just exported. So what we're going to do is go find Maya 1, and uh, that was in this folder here, and I named it Maya 1, and it's going to ask me to convert, right? That's because this is Collada, but we're converting to Open Scene Graph. That's the rendering engine we use, so we yep, we say yep, click convert, and here's our scene, right, in um, Altea. And so you can pan around and, and view it just like you would, but what's neat is you can actually come down to the default camera, and the default camera just went everywhere or anywhere it decided. So one step that I forgot in Maya is view, create camera from view. So let's just export that one more time to get make sure we have that view there. All right, and then replace that, and then come back here and we'll go open Maya one. It's going to ask us to convert it again over right, and now that default camera is taken into a account and so we have the view that we had in Maya. All right. You'll notice that it has an animation called default and we're free to scrub through it or we can play it, play it back, right? You have a uh, a looping, a ping pong and a speed drop down. So you can choose how your animation plays back. All right? Notice though that in Altia it is not updating here. That's because this is sort of the layout tool and the scene viewer. But you haven't told the 3D scene object in Altea to actually update. So let's go ahead and set this at back to 1, and I'll set it to ping pong. So that's basically what the animation is going to be doing. All right, I'm going to close this 3D pane out now. And I'm just going to tell my object here in Altea to update uh, at a consistent rate. So I'll just create a little, this could be done with C code or stimulus, but I essentially need a timer to tell it to render itself every so often. So what I'm going to do is grab this little animation called 3D Scene Opt Renderer and I'm simply going to set it to 1 over and over again and that will cue the 3D object to render itself over and over again. Alright, so I'll just define that. The only thing that I need to do to kick off this timer is set that timer's enable condition to be true and there we go. Now we have the actual object in th um, the DSN file matching what the 3D pane is showing, right? And of course, coincidentally, that other than ping pong, remember I set the animation of ping pong versus loop, it's the same here in Maya, all right? So we could choose, instead of ping pong, we could do loop and get the same sort of result as what Maya was doing. But I thought ping pong made it look a little smoother because it starts from the end, all right? Okay, so this is what's showing in LT Design, and I just want to con uh, end this quick intro video about using it with uh, a demonstration that no matter what you have here, it's now a, th a normal LT object. You can put transparency objects above and below it. You can insert image objects and have buttons around it. Um, this is a validator, which is also a new feature, and we'll have a video on that as well for 11.1. Uh, but you can see the alpha channel of this image object is a drop shadow, and it's catching that, perfectly blending. And of course, you can send objects to the back and have them below as well. The final thing that I want to show before ending this video is that this is an animation, uh, or the, uh, sorry, this is an object within Altea, so you're free to group it and type in move, say define, and then move this down here and type in 100 say to fine and then you can actually take your custom animations on 3D objects inside of Altea perfectly blending with other objects while playing back the 3D animation that was developed within Maya. Real-time 3D animation, real-time lighting changes, real-time morphing of objects, texture mapping is supported, high-poly models are supported. 
So a really great new feature of LT Design, the 3D Scene Object and Compose Pane. Thank you.